What's good in the hood, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a special guest. I got my brother from a, from the same mother, actually. I wish you weren't. <laughs> so today we got a really special video. It might be controversial. Are you ready? I'm ready. Do you know what the video is? No idea. Okay, today's video is a uh, would you rather. So I'm gonna ask him a bunch of questions, and we're both gonna answer it. We're gonna choose one of the options. No, I would not rather you're my brother. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but this would you rather is a Muslim edition. It ain't no normal would you rather. Let's go. So we gonna ask a bunch of Muslim Let's questions, go. and this gonna be real interesting. So before we start this video, you know the typical YouTube stuff. Make sure you guys go subscribe. I don't know why I'm not going. So go subscribe, hit the like button, follow me on Instagram, and comment any other video ideas you want me to see. And let me know if you want him in my other videos. But without further ado, let's get started, my friend. So how does this work? So I have questions on my phone. I'm gonna ask you a bunch of questions, and we're both gonna answer them. Okay, okay. There, there is no wrong answers, but just be careful what you say so you don't get canceled. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but... <laughs> All right, first question. We gonna start really simple. Would you rather live in the... In Canada or the UK? The UK has a good Muslim community, but Canada, nobody beats Canada. Exactly. Let's Canada, go. Canada is nice and simple. All right, now we gotta step it up a notch. Would you rather have a bad past, then become Muslim, or be religious all your life? <laughs> like, like, if you have a bad past, you know you're gonna become a Muslim. Look. The thing about the bad past is it does have advantages, right? <laughs> you know where the haram, you know what to avoid. Where a lot of people sometimes where they've been religious all their life, they can't see, they can't see the signs of something dangerous. And especially when it comes to dawah, somebody who had a bad past could actually serve the community a lot more. Fact. So low key, it's better to have been religious forever, but your answer is? Okay, <laughs> okay I'll go first. Honestly, I'm not afraid to say it. I, I would rather have a bad past and then become religious. No, I, I think it's still better to be religious all the time. Really? Yeah. But even if you know you're going to become yeah, religious? Yeah, no, no, it's better. Because I feel like we live in a, such a, a haram society that it's easier like for someone who's religious all their life, like be tempted by yeah, this stuff. But, but it's not better for you to be like, oh, oh, so because or else people are be like, oh, it's okay for me to have a bad past now because I'll be good later. A lot of people might never be good. I don't know. To be on the safe side, I would rather never ever have been bad. Would you rather only have daughters or sons? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the both of them have their advantages. Misogynistic <laughs> incoming. <laughs> Okay, well, obviously the Prophet said whoever has three daughters will enter paradise, but sons, you can also spread the deen. So I would love to have a mix, but if I had to choose one... Yeah, one. Choose one, money. Sons. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> Just because I'm a son. <laughs> would you rather only have one kid or seven kids? Seven. Easy, really? Easy seven. Really? Seven hundred percent. Do you think... Oh, guys! <laughs> Do you think your wife would approve of that answer? I don't know, bro. I all told her I wanted a football team. <laughs> all right, well, you can get a football team, inshallah. Okay. Right. <laughs> His wife doesn't agree. <laughs> oh, for me, one kid or seven kids? I forgot to say, my answer is one kid. Ain't nobody got time for seven kids. Calm. All right, would you rather be a hafiz or know every single hadith? Ooh, no, no, Quran. You can't, you don't compete with Quran. That's true. I agree. Quran. I agree. Me too, hafiz. <laughs> all right. Next question is interesting. Would you rather, so from the from like 16 and onwards, would you rather have a beard but you're bald or have hair but no beard? But like it's like you can't grow it. No, no, beard, beard. Really? Beard any day. Yo, bro, I would look good bald. <laughs> With the beard. Well, we're gonna find out in two years if you do. <laughs> like, I would rather, bro, beard. I don't know. It's true, I should. I'd rather have no hair but a beard, not me. A beard is a man's makeup. Would you rather have a hijabi wife with a guy best friend? Hell no. no. <laughs> <laughs> what, whatever the second what? option. <laughs> you know what? What kind of? I'm not even gonna read the rest of my question. <laughs> whatever the second answer is, we choose. I'll read this for you guys. It was, would you rather have a hijabi wife with a guy best friend or a non hijabi wife? Who doesn't talk to any guys? Yeah, none of them are my wife at this point. 
<laughs> but I still prefer the second one. Yeah, me too. Ain't nobody got time for a guy best friend. Like, look, that doesn't exist. Know. Would you rather have a non straight son or a non pure daughter? <laughs> That's the innocent way of asking this the question. Oh, dang. I would have no kids at all. Straight son or unpure daughter? I think non straight son would be easier. If Same. Because the non pure is doing something haram. Exactly. The other one didn't start off doing something haram. And you can relate to him. So it's good. <laughs> This, this is the interesting question. The inter the question that might be in the title and thumbnail. My friend. <laughs> Do you know what the question is? Have idea? Would you rather have one wife or four wives? Four. Really? Four, inshallah. No, but would you like, Jokes aside. Only one or four. Ah, Oh! <laughs> I guess you have zero wives now. <laughs> No, no, four wives. Can't even find four. <laughs> Habibti, if I look at everybody like you, I will not. I don't know, yeah, but four. Anything. Really? Yeah, 100%. Okay, I choose the one for sure. What no, the four heck? Four, four, bro. How yeah. can you have four? This, this, this guy wants four kids, seven wives. This guy will actually have a football team. No, bro, bro. Look, honestly, jokes aside, I prefer two. Two is a good number. Yeah, but it's not the question. Okay. <laughs> it's one or four. Still four? One or four? Okay, no, one, one. one. Okay, well, thank God. Like, one, one. Four doesn't four, make two, sense. Ten. Four doesn't make sense. Imagine four, like, hey, four. All right, this is an interesting question, too. This question might show who Adil really is. Oh, Would you rather go to Hajj or let a hundred random people go to Hajj? A hundred random people. Because the, the reward... No, but, no, but you don't get the reward. Would I get the reward of them going to Hajj? No, you don't. So hell no, I'll go to Hajj. Why would I, why would I send a hundred people if I don't get the well, reward? Like, like, you, like, you don't send them. It's just like, imagine... Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. It's, it's like one of those questions. Would you rather a hundred people go to Jannah or you go to Jannah? Yeah. Hell no, me yeah, go to Jannah. But for, for a million. But Hajj is different because Jannah is like, if I don't get the reason you do it is because you get rewarded. If you're not gonna get rewarded, might as well do that things that are gonna get you rewarded. Okay. What if imagine it's a real life scenario? You're at the airport and someone says, "Do you want to go or let these five people go?" And like you don't know if you're gonna get rewarded. Like inshallah, I get rewarded. Yeah, which is like this dunya. Like imagine you're actually there in the airport. Like do you want to go or let okay, ten people, ten people. Well, you know, uh, at that point, I I would hope for my reward from Allah, and I would let the ten people go. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Someone get me a lie detector test. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather an arranged marriage or marry one of your cousins? Arranged marriage. But like you don't know what you're getting. Yeah, but tell us that's it. I have to marry. That's a forced marriage. But I mean, marriage like you don't know, no? No, a marriage, arranged marriage is they arrange you with somebody. It doesn't mean you have to marry them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. I guess. I didn't, right I, didn't, I, didn't even I didn't think about it that deep. Okay. Would you? Oh, this is an interesting question. Would you rather in this society? Yes. Get. <laughs> get married at fourteen, or get married at thirty-five. Fourteen. In this society. 100%. Impossible. Hundred percent. Oh. I actually think the like obviously I wish I was mature, but to be married at thirty four or thirty five, there's too much risk of haram. You cannot put a, a man, especially a man, in that line of danger and hope and just hope he's gonna be in the good. I rather marry at fourteen and get divorced than just not marrying until thirty five. You never put yourself in the risk of haram ever. It's true. For thirty five is but generally fourteen you're you, you could you're like your ready. home no, your hormones ready. are pretty chill. But you're not ready to Yeah, I didn't say you're ready, but your hormones. But you, when you hit the 18, 19, 20. Nah bro, these are not ages that you wanna be single. Fortunately I was chilling on Rootscape and Club Penguin. Anybody got time for a wife? Still playing that now. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather, this is a, I don't know, interesting question. Would you rather get swallowed by a whale like Prophet Yunus alayhi salam or wrongfully imprisoned like Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam? Bro, prison. Really? Y Yusuf alayhi salam was imprisoned for, what was it, 10 yeah. years? Yeah. Uh, oh, eight years, eight years. And Yunus alayhi salam was just a small period of time in the belly of the whale, but bro, how could you be in the belly? Oh, That's no. True. No, bro, I'd rather prison. And he was wrongfully prison. Don't like, keep that in mind. Yeah, but when you're wrongfully prison, it hurts more. And it hurts less. Because no. you know you're not here for something. And you know you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is rewarded. No, but not, not, is not in the eyes of Allah. I'm talking about like, imagine like you're wasting 10 years of your life for something. But you're getting rewarded. Didn't like the the, the wife of the king. Yeah, like, falsely she, accuse him, yeah. That's just a snake move. Yeah, she wanted him. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, but Yunus alayhi salam did something wrong. And that's why he got the, I don't know. So what's your answer? 
You, you said party tonight. I am chilling in the, in the whale's belly, man. Not me. <laughs> we got a party in there. Free sushi. <laughs> Bro, Ryan in prison is too much. All right, well. I finished my test of questions. <laughs> Is there any more questions? I don't know, bro. Hopefully, none of them gets me canceled. <laughs> all right. But I got the most guess, best question of them all. Oh. Are you Team Adil or Team Silly? Oh. <laughs> question for everybody. Let me know. You, you, you know you're watching this video because I'm on it. Because <laughs> I'm on you it. See, <laughs> you, see, <laughs> you see me on the thumbnail. You're like, oh, Adil, let me click. Would you rather be in Team Salim or Team Cl uh, Adil? <laughs> Come on, Team yeah, Clown. I, it, oh. it was a joke. It was Team Clown. <laughs> Should we do a part two? Let us know. Yeah, let me know if you want a part two or any other video with this clown. Comment some video ideas. I'll do it with him. But that's it for today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button. Comment anything you want. Comment the answer to Team Salim or Team Adil. Make sure to follow me on Instagram because I post a lot. And on my TikTok because I post a lot. But this is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.